Slane Corvids, I am Corvus Lucio Lugenicos and welcome again to the Nemeton. First of all, I apologize if you hear some background noise. My mom is the cooking and I have a theater play this, um, this evening and <laughs> we have to rehearse and do a lot of stuff. So uh, basically this will be a short video or as short as possible and as unedited as possible. So. Yesterday I finished reading a book, <laughs> a long time reading book. Uh, it cost a lot to me to finish it, but I finally did it. It is a witchy book, kind of, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And it's this edition is, is in Spanish. Well, originally it's in Spanish because the author is Spanish. The name says Las Brujas y su Mundo, which means uh, the witches and their world. I think in English it was translated as the world of witches and it's by Julio Carabaroja. Basically it's a short history of witchcraft, of the phenomenon of, of witchcraft and his take on magical thinking. Julio Carabaroja is, I think, the nephew of Pio Baroja and he's, uh, I don't know if he's an historian, uh, but he's for sure a folklorist. He's from the Basque area of Spain and he has this huge interest in Basque witches and Basque witchcraft and witchcraft and magical thinking in general. So this book was his take on it. It was first published in 1966, so it's pretty old. So this book has many good things and some bad things that if you get to ignore, it's not so bad. Basically, he summarized the history of witchcraft and magical thinking in general in different countries, even though he focuses quite much in Basque witchcraft, which to me is awesome because I love Basque witchcraft and I am, um, well, I am not partially Basque in my knowledge, but my surname is Basque. Wonderful, but he also gives like random information from the, from the judges, from the witnesses, from the confessed witches, on things that they did in their sabbats, in their spells, etc. This random information is to me very useful to decide what path I should choose next, what trials, what type of witchcraft, research, etc. The bad thing about this book is that it's old, so you can see the, ideal, the ideally it's not very focused on digging into satanic uh, perception of witchcraft, but he also dismissed the pagan theory, which I like because I don't follow a pagan theory, save for some exceptions. For example, the Basque country to me is an exception in which witchcraft was absolutely pagan, but whatever. The thing is that you can see the ideology and if you don't agree it's a little bit difficult to follow but it's not important and you can easily ignore it and that's basically the, the, the biggest bad thing that it has it's very useful to have that summary to have all that information that leads you to here or there and yeah it's old and you can take it that seriously but if you can acknowledge that and take it into, into your advantage, it's not a big deal. So it's very useful. I highly recommend reading it if you're a beginner. If you're very advanced, if you have been reading about historical witchcraft for several years, there's no need to read this book. But if you're starting, if it is your first, second, third to sixth uh, reading in the history of witchcraft and events of uh, witch crazes, etc. This book is absolutely recommendable and I recommend it to you. So 
read it if you think it can be useful to you or if you have already read it tell me in the comments down below what do you think like if you like the video don't dislike if not that's not necessary and subscribe to keep updated uh, on new reviews on witchcraft and the occult and yeah thanks for watching guys may the way watch over you all bye